This is Brett Premack, the Jazz Video Guy. When I talk about saving jazz, America's homegrown art form, some people ask, what is jazz? A little over a century since its inception, jazz is many things to many people. Sadly, the word jazz has some negative meaning as well. In the early days, when jazz was played in New Orleans brothels by black men, it was easy for small-minded people to dismiss. Strangest taste around is the excitement generated by the musical noise called jazz. This strange music has been accused of everything, including the present decay in morality, the bad weather, and the desire of the women for votes. Miles Davis didn't like the word jazz. In the 60s, he was at the forefront of jazz fusion, a pioneer in the use of electric instruments and funky rhythms. His critics cried, Miles isn't a jazz musician anymore. Alto saxophonist Gary Bartz played with Miles in the early 70s, and today it's Mr. Bartz who doesn't want his music tagged. Gary, who's finishing up a John Coltrane tribute for release this year, recently spoke with me about Miles and how he joined the group that included pianist Keith Jarrett. He came in one night, I was working with McCoy, he came in the slugs, and I didn't see him or anything, but they said, uh, Miles Davis is here, you know, and we were on stage, so. Uh, when I came off, you know, I looked for him and he was gone, you know, but that the following week he called me, you know, to do it again. And I thought it was a friend of mine. Well, I thought it was Jack, because we used to, you know, tease each other with his voice. Gary, what are you doing? So uh, he's calling me, asking me to join the band, and I'm saying, who is this? Is this you, Jack? <laughs> you know, doing that kind of So he kind of, like, he made me realize it was him. Yeah, he got a little, a little intense. always like Miles. I, I don't think there's anything he's done that I didn't like. So certain musicians you trust. I trusted him. And I trusted that even if I didn't understand it or hear it, I trust him enough to know that I need to explore this. And so that's, that's what I did. <laughs> his band. He would used to go out and listen to everybody and he would hear and if he'd heard something he liked he you know he and sometimes it might not work out you know but if he heard it he would that's how he used to do and I think he handpicked that band um, because everybody in that band were, could have been leaders and were, did become leaders and some were already were leaders um, and that's how all of his other bands were. I mean, with Train and, and Ray Garland, and Philly Joe, you know, uh, Wayne and Herbie, you know, he, he picks band leaders. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, not, uh, it's not just by chance. Michael came and Michael fit right in. Because he brought that, he brought the blues. I mean, Miles, I, I've heard him say, they say, well, what do you call, you know, what are you, what are you doing what are you, uh, musically? You know, he said, I'm just tooting the blues. And that's how he looked at it. We're, we're blues players. You know, we're not that J word, we're blues players. <laughs> I was in, 
that was such an organic band, man. I mean, that we would start out, you know, and sometimes it would take a while because we played long shows. We would play, sometimes our concerts were two hours and longer, you know, but we'd start out and, and he loved that, man. Because he was, I mean, his trumpet playing, he was so strong, he was healthy, wasn't eating meat, wasn't drinking, wasn't smoking. He was going to the gym, he, he was just wanted to play the trumpet, you know, so that's what we did. You know, we were all basically healthy in, the, in, those, in that band. That was one of its healthiest bands, I would say. <laughs> I think of him as Miles Davis, the artist, rather than the musician, because he's more than, uh, you know, he's more than just the music, too. You know, any, any great artist is more than their art, you know. I know when I started studying, you know, I was amazed, you know, I see sculptors by Picasso, I see sculpt, you know, see all kinds of things. Same thing with, uh, with most great artists. <laughs> And as the music changed, you know, personnel changed. Because uh, I guess in a way, uh, and I'm just thinking of this now, in a way he was like Duke Ellington in that, you know, Duke wrote music for the people that were in the band. And he liked to keep the band. The difference is Miles' bands changed more. But each time the band changed, the music was different. Same purpose. This is Brett Premack, the Jazz Video Guy.